Well, we're in front of a spot you just have to visit when you come to the fair, the Fletcher's Corny Dog Stand. The Fletcher family corny dog synonymous, the patriarch, Neil Fletcher, claims to have invented it back in 1942. In this Daybreak Rewind, we took a look back at their recipe for success. The corny dog is ready to eat. We went back to 1975, and even back then, one food ruled the fair. 32 years ago, Neil Fletcher opened his first corny dog stand at the State Fair of Texas. Fletcher's and the Fair, a match made in fried now food heaven. In about but I love minutes. watching these. Today, Why Amber Fletcher me? helps run the kingdom of corny. Let's take a look at this. And we watch the story from the SMU Jones Film Library about how her grandfather perfected the recipe. My grandfather died about two years after I was born. So these interviews and movies he's done, that's, that's all I know of them. It's fun to get to see like those that came before me. But just how do you make a good corny dog? Well, it all starts with a hot dog, of course. Is this the same way with the stick by hand putting it into the hot dog? So every corny dog is still hand stuck. Nothing is machine done. I would say the difference is, is now we have gloves and hair nets and hats and sanitation. Fletcher figures he'll probably sell as many as a quarter million corny dogs before the fair comes to an end. 2021, we expect 500,000. So double. So double. The, uh, the sticks, the batter, the fryer. Amber said 46 years and many technological advances later, they haven't changed a thing. You know, it's the exact same process that, you know, our grandfather started. I'm sure that we could cut costs and save money by having machines do some of the process for us, but we're just in the tradition of celebrating and making it ourselves. First time I ever wrapped my mouth around a corny dog. But there is one thing about the story she does not recommend. The end of this is so awkward. Channel 8 News at the State Fair. Please don't ever do that. <laughs> don't eat a microphone is what you're saying. No, only, only Fletcher's Corny Dogs. Will do. Yes, Fletcher's Corny Dogs. Nearly 80 years of State Fair tradition that has not had to change much at all. Thankfully, though, the reporting has. At the State Fair, I'm Chris Sadegui.